What if Abraham and Sarah is the same as Adam and Eve? And what if they are the same as Mary and Joseph? And what if the Bible was written by the elite? And what if the elite are playing it out? What if everybody had evil intent from the beginning and then in the end everything changes? Or what if evil intent is all throughout the world and then the little ones were the ones that planned on exposing Satan's kingdom Anyway, what if? What if those two witnesses are Gabriel and Michael? And they both come to Daniel. But just like the, the two thieves on the cross <clears throat> that came to Jesus. But there's also Jesus Barabbas. So what if those two thieves are played out in at least two different ways? <clears throat> like there's the twins and then there's the other two. What if the bear is that last kingdom that devours all nations? And it's not just one interpretation of iron mixed with clay. Because with this host body system... The iron, the, the thighs, the belly, iron mixed with miry clay, the iron inside of the body mixed with the, the flesh, the skin. But I've always understood before that, that the iron is the kingdom that's the one that's considered strong, partly strong, and the other is partly brittle. And it's a, it's a, it's a group of people, not very many, but enough <clears throat> just the right amount in order to smash and destroy Satan's kingdom. No, it's not just me that that is doing it. Although, I feel like the work that I put in day in and day out exposed it for those little ones that can continue to crush it to make sure it's stopped now Michael is known from what I understand is like a military commander so you're going to have a literal military commander may, may be like a Jesus Barabbas the kind that people like just for show that people people picked over whoever the Jesus is being played out these days right now and that Jesus that wasn't picked is just waiting for the times up 4321 
to be over with. And there may be not just one Jesus either. There may be a couple of them, like maybe three of them. So I think Barabbas was picked almost 42 months ago. Not sure exactly what time, but definitely the power to act. There's been a lot of acting going on. So Barabbas was chosen because everybody knows that he has power and authority on this, on this planet. And it would definitely be a YouTube channel that is, I would say, highly... I would say highly respected. And anybody that really talks trash about him would just be someone would be hired by that person to, to, to talk trash about him because nobody's really talking trash about him. That's, that's the Barabbas that I feel like was chosen. And so that would be the military commander, leader. Because there's two different ones. There's... There's like a military leader commander and then there's a there's the religious leader religious and like government governmental leader or there's a military leader and then there's a religious leader and then there's a there's a government government leader the reason why it's been so confusing for me is because there's many roles being played out. And and there's the same role being played out by many people. Just like just like people have the people will try to be try to play out Jacob in order to get the blessing. So Barabbas was picked and may have been looked at as Jesus, the Christ, in, in a lot of people's eyes. And, and in the end, he becomes Christ anyway. Like the spirit rises up in Barabbas regardless. And, it, and if it doesn't rise up in Barabbas regardless, then Barabbas gets destroyed. So either way, it's either you join the Christ team or get destroyed. And this is the only time in history that it's going to be like that. Yeah, you can say it happened 2,000 years ago when he died, but uh, how come nothing changed? <coughs> but then there's another Michael... Who is like God? And he may have been the the other Christ, like the like the king, like like King David. You see, I see it as Christ. When, when Christ is manifested in each person or even in Christ himself when Christ was preaching he came as a type of John the Baptist uh, announcing that the kingdom of God is at hand and Christ is coming but he also came in a way of mocking the 450 false prophets and slaying them, but also being chased by Jezebel. And it seemed like he converted Ahab and Jezebel is kind of like the, the Barabbas that was picked. So there's a military commander looked at as Michael. You know, the great prince that stands for my people in the book of Daniel when he's talking, when Gabriel is talking to Daniel. 
telling him that Michael, your prince, your prince, the great prince, <clears throat> or standing up for your people, you know, God's people. So Michael and Gabriel as two witnesses, but you also have, well, is it Moses and Elijah or is it, or is it Moses and Enoch? Maybe what the confusion is, picking Enoch over Elijah and Enoch being like the, the Barabbas opposed to the Elijah character played out. But when you start and go all the way back to just one person having these spirits cross in them, I can imagine Christ back then preaching kind of like how Harold Camping was. It Like that was a sign of Jonah. It does make sense that there was a sign and the city was not destroyed. Which means this time it will be like Sodom and Gomorrah. So I was worried for a minute that Philadelphia wouldn't be destroyed. <laughs> Uh, and then I and then then I started to understand that well, with the help of you know Michael standing up. That's this is what Michael does. He stands up as other individuals are being played out. There is a Michael that stands up. There is a Gabriel that comes to Daniel. There is a Daniel that communicates with Michael and Gabriel. And, and others. But as Christ was starting out his ministry, when you look at it that way, he came in as John the Baptist in his spirit, not even knowing that he's the Christ, and coming in announcing it with the spirit of Elijah slaying and destroying false prophet hypocrites. And then, because he's announcing that Christ is coming, Christ the Spirit, he didn't realize at the time, because who, who taught him? And you look at the movie, like The Chosen, yeah, it's a good representation of, of Christ being like a, a leader and uh, having, you know, knowing Scripture inside and out and and it just doesn't it doesn't seem realistic to me but that's just me I feel like nobody really knows exactly what what was going on um, especially Christ until he came to his own he came into his own and his own didn't receive him but once he finally started to realize what was what and who was who and where was where, <coughs> then he realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm the Christ. Hold up. I'm the one starting this movement. I'm the one raising people uh, from the dead. And then he realized, wait a minute, I don't actually die. What the hell is all this fear porn for? Father... If this cup could pass, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But if not, then okay, fine, I die. But you know what? I'm not saying I'm not dying because I'm scared. I'm saying I already died for everybody. That's how I see the real chosen. I wanna I wanna produce a movie with my vision of how I feel like the legitimate, realistic Christ walked the earth. And it's going to be not where men are actually following him around at all, besides gang stalking him. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the real deal. Christ spirit in a human being, walking planet Earth in modern days, using the YouTube platform to do it. The hell with all this other pretending. Uh, 
military leader type of Jesus, Barabbas, because that's the act. The act is just about up. So who is like God? Well, Michael, the military commander. But when you want to take it to Christ having that Michael spirit inside of him as the military commander of spirits. Again, that would be what if Christ is like God and Michael is the spirit that's within him. Because there's a military commander that's going to do things in a, with a literal show. Then there's someone who is like God, uh, the one that truly is the Michael in the system. There's going to be a Barabbas that's going to attach his name to having Michael with it. May even have a... Uh, May even have a YouTube channel, Prince Michael or something. Not that he'll ever show his face, but may be attached to his name. And then you'll have someone waiting in, in, in the wings doing the exposing the evil plans. Even though he, you know, it's like kind of reminds me of SJD a little bit where he he's protecting the word of God, but through lies. And isn't that ironic? You're protecting the word of God by lying about it. Uh, but you're only lying about it because people are deceived. And But you know who the real Barabbas is that's playing your spot, that, that picked, that took your spot, like Jacob. Like Jacob, Israel has a channel and he's not really Jacob or Israel. He's just kind of like in, in place of. So as Esau, Michael, the military commander, is someone that has not been chosen, but it's not as if he doesn't know he will be or won't be. It's all a script. So when I'm saying when I'm saying anything out loud, I'm talking to everybody who's involved with this script that knows the damn script. So I have to come along and say, well, what if? What if this and what if that? Because this is the way it is until I'm told directly and the movie is over. And then there's the real, the spiritual fulfillment of it, which comes from somebody that's not even involved with the inside until now, like myself. Like being stuck behind a bus. Oh, off topic. I was watching a movie yesterday with Goldie Hawn. When she's, I forget what movie it is. She kind of like, through I don't know, like has breast implants or something. With the other lady, and she was saying something about I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. Which reminds me of the host body system. Where it's not just all men turned to women. It's boys will be girls and girls will be boys. Lola. L-O-L-A. Lola. Boys will be girls and girls will be boys. Because they will implant toys that are ten feet long. Lola, Lola, Lola. So that's what it is. Hollywood women yes some some women are beautiful but they were men transformed and then other women are beautiful but they had 
they had a, a an oak tree planted inside of them. And it, it's at least like 10 foot, like a 10 foot pole. Now I get it. I just thought at one point, everybody in Hollywood was a man. Not so. They have that, whether it's, it's, it's planted or implanted. Either way, it's planted inside of their body and their stomach is their God. What's inside of their stomach? So I would say Goldie Hawn has a 10 foot pole. I would say Jennifer Aniston, absolutely. Born a woman. But turned to a pole. And Moses raised up the serpent on the pole. A 10 foot pole, that is. And then if any men have the same thing done, there's nothing on the outside of the, the surface of the body looks any different besides an opening somewhere that that pole comes out of. It's like a feeding trough. Yeah, some people will say that you're a a murderer because what you're eating from the the fruit well it's fr it's produced from your own body and they would call that babies even though it's life form that turns into fish if it goes in a different direction and I probably bees if it if it's what if the host body system has created different species of your own semen because it it's in a different source babies are created because of the wound of a mother when you take that wound of a mother and implant it into a father well then Scripture has it that the host body system that's in this in this world Joseph is Mary because Joseph was a man and boys will be girls and girls will be boys and turned to turn to Mary and had a little lamb and that little lamb's name was the son of man because literally it's a son of a man and then that baby is also a, a type of Barabbas. But there's another Barabbas. I feel like there's two Barabbases, one for each cabal. And then there's, there's the, the Michael waiting in the wings, protecting the word of God. And, but Gabriel comes to Mary as Abraham <coughs> as Abraham is with Sarah talking about having a baby and she laughs like <laughs> yeah right and he, I think even Abraham laughed too but what kind of baby did they have I forget people usually have like a baby first and it's, it's like a cane baby they have the evil one, and then they have the good, the, the Cain and Abel. I mean, I have a Cain and an Abel in my family. My stepson is, is an Abel, because he's able to take advantage of the schooling system that I sent him to, and he was able to go to Temple University because of that school being the third top-rated school district in Pennsylvania. And he took advantage of it, I think it was third, CB West, South, East, either or. And and then he was able to go to Temple and graduate. And 
become very successful already. And then Kane, well, yay, Kane kind of, you know, slumbered through and and is just, you know, waiting around and kind of doesn't really work at the moment. Was working, kind of isn't, sort of, kind of might have one a job. Who knows? Did graduate the school, which is good. But didn't really take it anywhere else. But hey, at least one out of two ain't bad. Even if it ain't my kid. And and he graduates college, at least spending all that money for rent paid off. I'll have some people think to themselves or even type in, Go read your Bible. <laughs> Go read your Bible. You don't know what you're talking about. Well... I communicate with the people that run this system and they know they know scripture also because they're the ones that wrote it and following it out because they've been alive longer than we have and they wish that I was either hot or cold that way they can they can take what was cold just like Christ said his father will prune away any unfruitful branches from him and any branches that are fruitful will he'll make the father will make it grow because the father is the growth you have the planter you have the the one that waters and then the father is the one that allows the growth and if it doesn't produce fruit it'll be pruned off with your cold prediction hot prediction the ones that are the little ones that are taking over, they'll take that piece of information and build off of it. And they'll allow me to understand where I need to keep going in order to fulfill scripture. And when, when it's a cold prediction or when it's a miss and it's not a hit, there's grand slams a lot. Matter of fact, there's there's the grand slam king. But you know what happens with a grand slam king? You know he strikes out a lot too, don't you? Because that's the kind of batter that I like. The one that gives it his all. And he's trying to hit grand slams. He's trying to smash that ball out of the park. What else are you trying to do with it? And sometimes you'll miss and swing and strike out. And other times you'll win the game with grand slam home runs. They're more exciting, aren't they? When you get a grand slam and you know it's a fulfillment of scripture, perfection, other times it's strike out. God wishes that I was either hot or cold. That way he can relay it to his prophets to help prune off the branches that have no fruit. Oh, there's a few different Moseses too. That's why I've been confused about it. There's one Moses, I think his name is Moses the Third, But isn't he uh, like the Pharaoh... What was it? The Pharaoh's sister or... I forget what it was, but it's it's something along the lines where it's not just one Moses. It's not just one Barabbas. There's not just one Jesus. There's not just one playing Satan. Satan is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience, point blank, and that's it. Is there a leader put in place to be Satan? Sure. Is there really a Satan in the in the world? Well, I think his name is Lord God. It would be whoever has the most authority and the, and the decision to place who wherever he wants to place him. Because this is his earth. So yeah, somebody's in charge of the earth. Are there different judges? Of course there is. In heaven? Yep. And do they all make decisions? 
as a collective group? I believe so. And then do they put someone in charge to be that title? I think I think that's true. Just like in any job position, you become a vice president or a board chairman or whatever the position is, is what you've been given the authority to do. Other than that, don't try to be authoritative with any other position that's not yours. And that's what the problem I think we have today is. I don't talk for me anymore. I talk for those. I talk for the ones that need someone to talk to or hear that can relate to similar situations that I go through. And in my sleep, I'm definitely being attacked. It's not just me. And it's it, they're attacking your head, your crown. So that's why Derek Bros wears that hat. That's why Derek Bros goes to sleep with that hat because he's protecting his crown. Who cares if he's bald? I'm bald too. But I've learned something last night. I'm being attacked with my with my head. Because when your body vibrates and buzzes around and pulses and then when you take a thick heavy quilted blanket and wrap it around your head and the pulsation stops for the most part then there's something going on and I want to know what kind of hat you have Derek I know it's a I know it's not just a hat it's it is not just some kind of regular hat there's something inside of there like like the Faraday cage I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, test that out and work on work on making putting that inside of one of the hats that I got and uh, and then see how that works because this is a we're being attacked Satan's attacking us but who's in charge of being Satan right now and when you know your time's up why, why don't you just give up? Just stop already. Because that's not part of Scripture, is it? If they go all the way to the very end. But I talk for those that run this system, the boss, the boss men. Because I'm part of the, the puzzle here and I'm trying to fulfill whatever I can. This is Kensington. I used to live around here a lot of my life, actually. Not by choice, just because we were poor 